In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can rasterize vector objects in Inkscape. More importantly, though, we'll be going over why you would want to do such a thing. So let's get started here. On my canvas, I have this example design, which consists of individual vector elements. If I zoom in on this, you can see there's no quality loss. If I wanted to make a rasterized or a pixel-based copy of this design here, all I have to do is select it and go to Edit and select Make a Bitmap Copy. And when you do that, it creates a copy of your selection, only it's a pixel-based copy. So if I zoom in on this, you can see this is indeed a pixel-based image. Now let's have a look at an example of when this sort of thing would be useful. So on my screen here, I have this halftone pattern that we created in a previous tutorial. And this actually serves as a perfect example of when to use this sort of thing. Because this design here consists of hundreds, maybe even thousands of tiny little circles. And because of that, the software has to process the information of each and every one of these elements, which can slow down the software and decrease performance. So this is where making a bitmap copy comes in handy because it allows you to create a pixel-based copy which will free up a lot of CPU usage and make the software run a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Layers menu. I'm going to come up here to Layers and select Layers and Objects. And I'm going to look for, here we go, Layer 2. This is where all of the objects remain on this layer. I'm going to select the objects I want to make a copy of. And if I go to Edit and select Make a Bitmap Copy, we now have an image over here in the Layers menu. So I'm going to take this image and I'm going to pop it out of the layer and place it on top of the layer. And if I scroll up, you can see it up there. And then I'm going to collapse the layer. And I'm going to lock the layer and turn off the visibility of the layer. And now we have just this pixel-based image here. And now the software is already running much smoother. If I try doing this and working with this with thousands of individual little elements being displayed on the screen, it's going to decrease performance by a lot. Now, one problem you may encounter when doing this sort of thing, if I zoom in here, you can see the resolution isn't too great. So if you want to make bitmap copies while preserving a higher resolution than what the default is, what I would recommend doing is going into Inkscape Preferences. If you're a Windows or Linux user, it's up here in the Edit menu and come down here to where it says either Preferences or Inkscape Preferences. If you're using Mac, just come over here to where it says Inkscape and select Settings. And in the menu, what we're looking for is over here where it says imported images. I'm going to come down here to where it says resolution for create a bitmap copy. The default is 96. I'm going to change that to 300 and then close out of the menu. And now next time when you make a bitmap copy, it'll be a much higher resolution. So let me show you here as an example. Let me get rid of my other copy and let me make a new copy of my halftones here. I'm going to select all of my halftones. I'll go to edit make a bitmap copy, take the uh, image layer, pop that out, collapse the layer, turn this off, and there we go. This is a much higher resolution. Like I'm zooming in beyond 100% and you don't see any pixelation yet. In fact, I could zoom in quite a bit without any kind of pixelation whatsoever. Uh, I have to go pretty far there before you start seeing the pixelation. So that's a little tip that you can use to help create higher resolution copies of your rasterized objects. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.